and welcome to PNN. I'm Val Jeanval. Our top story tonight, in what's being called the June Rebellion, a group of students in Paris has formed an uprising against King Louis-Philippe, fueled by economic hardship and a cholera epidemic. Already stories of key figures in and around this rebellion are pouring in. Let's go now to senior correspondent Anne Carter for more. Anne. That's right, Val. Stories of bravery, love, and sacrifice abound as young men and women join in the fight for their freedom. I spoke to one young woman, Fantine, who told me how she worked long hours in a factory to support her daughter, and that when the foreman dismissed her, she turned to prostitution to ensure her little girl would be cared for. Truly a case of doing whatever is necessary to survive these hard economic times. An inspiring story, Anne. Any chance we could hear from Fantine herself? Well, no. She died. Tuberculosis. Oh. All right, then, let's check in with senior correspondent Russell Cohen. Russell. Yes, thank you, Val. I spoke moments ago with a young woman named Eponine who told me of her deep and abiding love for student-turned-revolutionary Marius and how she was planning to join him at the barricade the students have erected to fight their battle. I don't think I've ever met anyone with such a deep well of both affection and bravery as that young woman has. Extraordinary. Russell, any chance you could speak to Eponine so we could hear directly from her? Certainly. Oh. Um. Sorry, Val. Uh, Eponine died at the barricade. Ah. All right, well, let's move on to senior correspondent Samantha Hathaway. Samantha. Thank you, Val. Well, it's not just students and revolutionaries caught up in this rebellion. Authority figures are also affected, as I learned when I spoke a short while ago with police inspector Javert. Javert has been doggedly pursuing an escaped prisoner for more than 19 years, if you can believe it. And when he finally caught up with prisoner number 24601, he found himself conflicted between his civil and moral duties and let the man go. Wow, this Javert sounds like a layered and complex character. Indeed. Can we speak with him? Oh no. He committed suicide by jumping from a bridge into the set. Huh. Yeah. Sorry about that. Not your fault. All right, finally, let's check in with senior correspondent Jack Human. Jack. Well, Val, I think I've found the guy who manages to tie all these stories together. Really? Yes. You remember Anne's story about Fontaine and her daughter? Yes. Well, this guy was the one who took Fontaine to the hospital when she fell ill and swore to take care of her daughter, Cassette. Wow. Right? And then Marius, the, the one Eponine went to the barricade and gave her life for? Yes. Well, this guy grabbed Marius when the government troops made their final assault on the barricade, carried him down into the sewers, saving his life. Wow. And then Javert who spent his life hunting an escaped prisoner? Yeah. The escaped prisoner is this guy! My goodness, it sounds like the whole student rebellion was just a backdrop to tell this guy's story. Yeah, I guess it kind of was. Well, by all means, let's get him on screen. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe someday we'll find someone who survived this thing so we can interview them. In the meanwhile, stay tuned, everyone. We'll be right back. You've been watching PNN, the Parody News Network.